Hi. I just thought I'd show you my HPI Hellfire and a few of the optional extras that'll fit this car. I'll start with the front skid plate. This skid plate is really just to make it a bit stronger. It's well with the car weighing four kilograms, hitting that now as diving, it's gonna break. So I bought that from the rear of models in the USA. That's one of my imported parts. I'll just take the shell off. As you can see straight away, there's a roll bar fitted. This roll bar is also imported from the USA, from the rear of models. They are a really, really strong part and protects the car. Anybody who needs strengthening parts, don't hesitate to buy from them. They are absolutely fantastic. And I've got roll bars fitted to them. Roll bars from them fitted to both my cars and I've never had one problem. One of the other optional extras I've had fitted is the aluminium servo horn. Really, really strong part and I've never had trouble with it. So they're a really good part especially after the plastic ones. I don't know if you can see now. I've fitted fiberglass brake pads. It's my old ones. They weren't too clever. So them ones really went in the bin. But if I could get them old ones, like new ones of them, I would. But unfortunately in this country they're hard to get hold of. Although they are the better ones between the fiberglass and the pad itself. I'll just show you the radio what I've also fitted. This is from Futaba. Originally it's a two hundred and twenty pound system. Paid one hundred pounds for mine off eBay. It's a Futaba three G R two point four gigahertz system. And all's well it's just a brilliant piece of kit and you can set the car up however you like and anybody is looking for a really really good radio system this is the one but brand new they do fetch about 200 pounds in this country that's retail but you can get one imported from hong kong for about 160. some of the other option some of the other extras i've fitted to this is thicker shock oil taking it from 20 watt to 45 watt you can't see them now, but I've also fitted dish aluminium diff case washers as the old ones used to leak. It's like a colander with them things. Absolutely terrible. I've also had a Roto Start fitted. These Roto Starts are absolutely fantastic for this engine. It just seems I've never had an engine like it, and it fires up first turn of the Roto Start absolutely fantastic I won't start it now but I'll just show you how it sounds right here we are I'm just going to put the router in just to let you say, see and sound have a listen to how it sounds with the router starting <coughs> unfortunately my router starting is actually fully charged yet but this engine is a real sweet runner and a brilliant engine but if you're going to put it inside Savage, be warned, mind your diffs, because the way this engine revs, it'll destroy them instantly. I mean, I've heard of stories of these engines destroying differentials of Savage within three tanks. So just be aware of the dangers of using this engine in a Savage. I'm currently running this car on 25% nitro and it really does shift, it's unbelievably fast I mean, the torque that it pulls is incredible and I've never had a car like it but be warned if you're thinking of getting one they are absolutely insane and so powerful I wouldn't really recommend them to a young child as they are a bit, at first they can be a bit scary for a young kid but for an adult or a kid who's been into nitros for a couple of years or so. They are a really, really good car for him to have. Him or her to have, I should say. They are.
just the best car I've ever had. Thanks for watching and goodbye.